Sprint planning happens right at the beginning of each sprint or in between a sprint ending and a new sprint starting. It's usually organized by the scrum master or the product owner but we always participate as a team and we contribute as a team. So agile focus on team effort. No matter who is organizing the ceremony or the meeting, we all participate in it and make sure we get the best out of it. Similarly, in sprint planning meeting, all the developers QA and the scrum master and the product owner get together and decide the work that they are going to pull in for a particular sprint. So out of the product backlog, which is already prioritized or which is being prioritized, we will pull some requirements or stories into the current sprint. So for example, if I have story 1, 3, 4, 2, etc. For this sprint, I might only pull in one story, two stories, depending on the capacity we have. A story is nothing but a demoable, testable unit of work from the requirements. So at the end of each sprint, we should finish the story and deliver it to QA and QA should also finish it and then demo it to the product owner. Product owner, if she accepts it, then that story is claimed to be done. Each of these stories, we maintain stories or requirements using tools like Zira. Each of these stories have a description. So in this planning meeting, we have to make sure we understand, even before we come to planning, we usually do this in grooming to make sure that the requirement is clear, the acceptance criteria is clear and it has the tasks on it. But once in a while, we end up doing it in planning also. So the product owner, will uh, help the team to pull in the appropriate stories for that sprint. By the end of the planning meeting, everybody should have something to work on in that sprint. The developers will have some development work and the QA will be having enough testing work based on what the developers take for that sprint. The description tells what that story is or what that requirement is about. Acceptance criteria is usually defined by the product owner. But we as a team can help the product owner once in a while to come up with the best acceptance criteria, even the QA is very helpful there. They can come up with their own suggestions on what the acceptance criteria should be to accept a story. So the QA is going to test the story against the acceptance criteria or when they build their test cases, they're going to base them off the acceptance criteria in the story. The tasks are the developer tasks and the testing tasks. You can add multiple tasks within a story. You can do that either in planning or you usually do it in what is called story grooming. Once in a while, even when we are busy with the sprint work. Once in a while, there will be grooming meetings wherein we will be prioritizing and grooming the stories which are not there in the current sprints so that we can take them up in the future. Because we don't grab all the requirements at once in HR. We are going to take a few requirements, do a little dev work, get the feedback, instant feedback from the product owner who is our client. Or once in a while, we can even demo our stories at the end of the sprint to the end client themselves. To quickly wrap up, sprint planning is where the team meets up before the sprint or in between sprints and pull the stories or requirements to work on for that particular sprint where everybody contributes and owns something for that sprint as a developer, as a QA person.